Hello. I'm in Memorial Gardens in Stoke Poges. Behind me, beyond the water, is the Stoke Park Country Club and Golf Course, and I think that is called Stoke House, the nice white building behind me. Now this type of location is ideal for an artist to come and hone his skills. Um, it's ideal for a painter, uh, you know, whether you draw or paint really. But if you're a painter, if you like uh, to paint realism, landscapes, uh, anything like that, or if you want to paint impressionist type uh, paintings as well of buildings or landscapes again, still lives, uh, whether you want to paint them uh, in a photographic realism or an impressionist way, an expressionist way, or any way you want to. It's an ideal place because it's peaceful here. You don't get many people in a, a place like this. A lot of places like this in, in, around most towns and uh, cities all over the country, really. But you have the tranquility. And when you have that tranquility, it, it enables you to be inspired. It enables you to um, spend the time to look at what you're painting. Of course, as an artist, you're someone who pays more attention to detail and the play of light and, and surroundings and atmosphere and things like this. Um, so it's good for these uh, purposes. But also if you're an artist and you're lacking um, ideas, uh, the, the lie of the land here and the different um, types of scenery, the different elements to the scenery enables you to construct similar things in your imagination as well. So you don't have to actually paint what you see before you, but you can have an idea of, uh, you know, relationships between the, the sky, the, the trees, the flowers, other elements of the landscape, buildings, things like this. So, so it's of great use. Often an artist, he will struggle while he's on his own. I mean, me myself, I've painted a lot of um, things just from my imagination and sometimes you struggle to uh, put reality together in your mind or a false reality together in your mind. But when you're in a place like this, it gives that uh, memory bank, more more things to play with. So this is uh, one of the things that it's useful for. Um, <clears throat> but the, you know, I think one of the main points is when you can get out and you can see the way light plays on the uh, various aspects of the scenery. The you know the way light and shadow interplays and things like this. It's a you know it's, it's a great aid to the artist. But the other thing is maybe you're not an artist or maybe you're a photographic artist or someone who's a photographer and there, there's a whole load of things to uh, photograph in an area like this beautiful things things that remind you of uh, God's creation things that remind you of um, the amazing beauty that we have uh, around us and that we should be thankful for okay thank you